Hello, this is Vino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tips with beginners and experts. What I have planned to do today is talk about a half inch and a marl, or also known as a marlin. Um, just wanted to show the difference. All right, let's get to it. What I always thought a half hitch was is something that you would put to finish off a rigging knot. Right here I got a clove hitch. So what I always thought it was, and this is actually, it is a half hitch. This is how you would finish off a rigging knot. But also a half hitch can be um, to take the weight off of a rigging knot on a stem that you're going to fell over. It reduces the stress on it. So you tie it in the same way. But I always thought that tying it up there in a rigging situation that it was called a marl. There is a difference, a marl and a half hitch. So we'll go up to the top here and um, I'll show you the difference. So here what we have is a makeshift rigging um, situation. What I have is a cow hitch with a half hitch and a climbing line. Um, we're saying it's a rigging line for now for the video. I have a slip knot to hold my rigging line so it doesn't fall out. So what, what I always understood a half hitch to be, when you did it in a rigging situation, I always thought it was a marl. So I'll show you what a half hitch looks like in a rigging situation. You go around the trunk or stem, and when you bring it through, you let the longer part of the rope rest on this so it doesn't slide out on you. Because I have this right here, it's not gonna slide out on me. Oh, watch. I pop this, and now what happens is, if it's a long, about, a long rope, it'll hold it in place. And now you go around the other part of the stem again. And once you get to here, once you get here, this is where I'll do my running bowling. So I'll make my loop. I'll go around the line here. I'll go up and through. Oh, this is going to have a long tail, but that's okay. And then I'll make, this is the running bowling here. Now I'll get it all situated. Now with this half hitch, it kind of moves on you. So it, you have to be able to, to move it. It's not bad if it's a, a skinny stem and you can uh, manipulate it you know, pretty easy. Make sure you got tension on your running bowling and now you this on your half hitch. Now you did tell the guys down there that they're ready to hold the line, put it on a porter wrap or whatever it is. Then you go to the back of the tree here, you make your cut. This would fall out. This half hitch reduces the strain on this running bowling. Okay. So in the past, when it was like this, I always thought that was a marl or a marlin. I'll show you what it looks, what a marlin looks like. So let me undo this. Now a marlin would be great if you're doing big wood, because it actually holds the holds in place. It doesn't come undone on you. So, oh yeah, so you, I'll just, I'll start from here. You would bring it around your, your stem, and instead of going underneath right here and having it hold up, you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna go around the outside, and then tighten this up. Almost like a half knot when you're tying your shoe. Okay, so now what happens here if it's big wood, this holds this piece in place and it's not gonna be sliding on, on you. None of that's gonna happen. So then you can do up here where you're gonna do your bowling and you have no worries about trying to fix or adjust that because you can do your bowling and it will stay in place. Cool. Now you make your running bowling. You get your running bowling in place. Okay, now you just have to adjust this too. So that's that's a little bit of a situation there, but once you get it in place, there you go. You want it to look right. There we go. Now that would be the marl. Now you do the same situation, make a, a cut in the back. It would hinge out and drop in that direction. And this would also take strain off of this rigging knot. Yeah, so there is a situation when if this pops up, it makes a, a granny knot in your line and it could really get stuck. But uh, we'll go back to the ground and I'll show you that. I did say we were gonna go back to the ground, but I forgot one point that I, um, 
when you're when you're doing a, a half hitch or a maro, you want to do it in the same direction. You'll start here and you could continue in the same direction as you're going up. You don't want to reverse it. So you don't want to do this and go this direction. You want to stay in the same direction. And say if you were instead of doing a bowling, you're doing a clove, you'd want to go in the same direction. And then finish it with a half if it was say a, a clove hitch. Yeah. In either of the knots, if it's a marrow or a bowling, I mean a, a half hitch, you go the same direction, you don't reverse. All right, well, let's go to the ground this time. So what I was mentioning about the, the half hitch, how it could slip off and it just falls out on you, this is, this is how it would work. So say you have your, your uh, half hitch set up and up here is where your rigging knot is. Now once it gets to the ground and the crew is working and it could slip off whatever direction, if it slips off in this way, it just falls out on you. But if you're doing the marl, let me get the marl set up, you get the marl, you do that, you get it like it's a, a half knot there. So this would be the marl and here's where your rigging knot would be. Now if they get it to the ground and then it slips off of the rigging branch, when it gets off, it slides and it comes out with a granny knot. Now if the guys on the ground aren't paying attention and they put this under tension, then you could ruin your rope because this this kind of a knot is really difficult if it's been under a lot of pressure to get out and if you have it like like 30 feet into your line you could be you know pretty screwed so that was a half hitch and a marl and the differences between them uh, both of them are real good rigging hitches and like i said the marl is good if you're doing bigger wood where it's not going to run as much on you Half hitch is really nice because it's really quick and it does reduce, and both of them actually do reduce weight on your main rigging knot. Um, remember, if you guys are going to do new techniques, um, do it low and slow. You don't want to get hurt. Um, well, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. Um, and by all means, share our videos with your friends. All right, we'll see you next time. Take care.